Hello, my friends. Each of these four quads has slightly different hardware, so it requires different settings on the transmitter. So for each model, I have created a separate model file on the transmitter. 65S Lite, 65S, X, 75X. Each model file contains the protocol settings, switch and stick setup, the telemetry and the screen configuration. For the three models running beta flight, I have also created a custom configuration file each. I have then downloaded the configuration files from models and transmitter and uploaded them to my Dropbox folder. Click the link in the video description and you get to my public Dropbox share and you can download the two folders that I'm using in this video. Now this folder is directly linked to my actual working directory. So if you're watching this video a couple of days, weeks, months after I'm publishing it, it will probably contain different settings than today. So in this video, I don't want to go into details of the model and setup files, but instead quickly walk you through how to install the files onto transmitter and models. At first, you activate USB on the transmitter and open the folder that pops up. Now, if you find the same folder on the Dropbox share and on the transmitter, like for example, model ICO, I want you to copy all files in my model ICO folder onto the transmitter. In the case of models, I currently have four, so copy all four, model one, two, three, four, onto the model folder on your transmitter and replace those that are already on there. That will overwrite the settings for the first four models on your transmitter. And then finally, you copy the tx.ini from my folder to your transmitter. And when you have copied all those files to your transmitter, that means... We have now taken over your radio. And we have installed the finest settings on the planet on your, your radio. Sticks and switches are configured. The screen, telemetry, etc. Everything set up. The left switch is always arming and the right switch on the better flight models is flight mode change. For the better flight models, I'm also uploading my configuration dumps onto the same Dropbox folder. So when you have one of the models that you see in my videos, you can go to my Dropbox folder and get the latest configuration that I've created for this model. In order to apply these settings onto the flight controller, you need to copy the complete content of the settings file and then open the better flight configurator. Plug the model in, connect to the right USB port, and go to CLI and type version. Hit return and compare that output with the first line in each configuration file. If it matches, you can copy my settings onto your flight controller, and if not, you should flash the right version first. After dumping the settings onto it, there's one thing left to do to clone my setup, which is uploading a different font. I like to use the vision font at the very bottom of the list. Click upload font. And when that's finished, you are done. Disconnect all the stuff and go fly. Now, as I said earlier in this video, I will keep this Dropbox folder updated with the files that I'm using throughout my further usage of these models. So if you have any feedback, problems, comments with these files, then please send me a message with your ideas. And if I like it, I'll work it into my files for everyone to enjoy. See you later.